Well, I'm Dorothy Height, and I have to be 98 in four days. And I really was born in Richmond, Virginia, grew up in Pennsylvania, spent a lot of my professional life in New York, and now I'm a Washingtonian. <laughs> In honor of Women's History Month, I Care Village interviewed prominent women who were instrumental in advancing equal rights for all women. Our first interview was with 98-year-old Dr. Dorothy Height, who, with Martin Luther King Jr., initiated significant progress in civil rights. Well, I think I'm like the man of La Mancha. Um, I think my greatest legacy is that I started out at 14 winning an oratorical contest on the Constitution of the United States. And I took the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments. And I'm still working to say that the 14th Amendment and its promise of equal justice under law is fulfilled. I think my greatest legacy is that I've tried to stay the course that I have tried to focus on rights for women, for men, for everyone. And it, this has been my direction, and I think my greatest contribution probably is that I've stayed in a struggle, and I'm still in it at 98. <laughs> and you just won an, you won an award a few years ago. Yes. I was given the Congressional Medal of Honor, which was really something that I will never forget, because when they told me that in 200 years they had not given more than 200 of them, I felt that a lot of that I've gone through was vindicated, and I felt pleased and proud, but also challenged to see what I could continue to do. When I was teaching in India, Indira Gandhi, who was then the daughter of the Prime Minister, was the person who worked with me with the Indian YMCA. And that was a new experience because it, I had never been to Asia before, but also she taught me the importance of helping people for the, with, your, with all your heart because it was a, one time the um, Americans, I was in India, and the Americans came to travel to her for the World Social Workers Conference. And somehow she invited a small group to her house and when they left after a lovely evening, she had listened to all their conversation, and she heard them say so many times, well, we do so much for these people, and nobody thanks us. And so when they were all gone, she said to me, you know, we need your help, but oh, how we hate to have to take it. And that was a learning for me that people hate to have to take it. They want to be able to do the things for themselves. And that's been one of my moving spirit feelings, that we have to learn how to help people to help themselves. What do you think is your biggest message to a younger generation today, to girls, maybe 14-year-old girls who are still impressionable? I say to them, find a purpose and work on it. Stay by your purpose. Don't just let people pull you off. But also make sure that you're of service. Don't just look out for yourself and your ambitions, but relate to the people, people of all backgrounds. And don't fear difference. Appreciate the differences and learn that you can work together and that somehow or other, your purpose is related to being of service 
and joining hands with people of all backgrounds, no matter where they are. I personally have to say that one of the big joys in my life is that I have had the opportunity to work with so many people of so many different backgrounds. And I look, look around the world and see that almost on every continent, under the worst of conditions, there have been women who have stood up and who have advanced the whole society and who have been able to somehow or other, from the position of discrimination, many have rose, have rose to be able to work against discrimination against other women, women who cared for women, and women who cared not just for themselves, that's the beauty of it, because then we learn that as they advance themselves, the whole society advance. And where women are put down, the whole society lags. And, and I believe that the value in Women's History Month is that it fills the unfinished pages of world history. And that it helps us to see what the contribution has been from back in the East in the day, but also gives us a clue to some of what women are doing today.